Yeah, so after Inspiration4, which was the uh, first all-civilian mission to orbit uh, a little over two years ago, uh, we got together with SpaceX and created a, basically a private space program called Polaris. It has up to three missions. It's all test and developmental missions where we're either testing technology that hasn't really been used in uh, 50 years since we last went to the moon, or entirely new technology that's designed to help open up space for, for everybody. So first mission, we'll have a big altitude record. We'll test a new spacesuit doing an EBA or a spacewalk. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna communicate over laser links using Starlink. Uh, and our final Polaris mission, which is many years down the road, will be the first crewed flight end-to-end -end of Starship, which will be hopefully the 737 of space flight that really opens up space for everyone. Well, I mean, I've been super lucky to have gone on so many adventures throughout my, my career, including, you know, various aviation endeavors like world record flights and flying air shows, and always tried to bring a charitable component into it, make it bigger than you know, the event that we were undertaking. So, you know, uh, throughout like my, my career, it's been uh, like the Make-A-Wish Foundation and also St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So for example, on Inspiration4, we raised over 250 million uh, to support St. Jude's vision that no child should die in the dawn of life. We're continuing to raise funds for them as part of the Polaris program, as well as some of the air shows that we're doing, just raise awareness and funds for their, uh, their important work. So uh, I'm, I usually have to be in a lot of places in a short amount of time. So still, still be a, business aviation is a big part of it. So whether I'm flying myself in a CJ4 or uh, you know we have a we have a Global Express that can uh, take us everywhere we need to go.